Okay, thanks for staying with us. We bring you back the uh, NASA report, the new study, uh, which says that coastal flooding is a far more urgent problem than previously thought. Cities along coast should expect a surge of flooding as soon as the next decade, according to the study. The dramatic prediction pushes the previous deadline for disastrous coastal flooding forward by about 70 years. We now have Mr. Desmond Majek Kodrumi joining us live. Uh, uh, is an environmentalist. Mr. Desmond Majek Kodrumi, thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. Be been a while. I, I call him Mr. Environment. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, yeah, somebody's got to advocate for it. But you know, the interesting thing is, you know, it's known as environment, but the reality is, it is our life support system. How bad, and is, that this? Is, very How bad is this prediction? How bad is this? It couldn't be much worse, particularly because what had happened several decades ago, the scientists in the World Meteorological Organization and the International Panel for Climate Change had been doing a lot of analysis from the latest data they were getting. The data was indicating that, oh, in about 40 years' time, maybe even 50 years' time, we could be having some very serious flooding hmm. and ocean encroachment into the coastal areas because of the effects of global warming. Hmm. The, you know, when you, when you warm water or any solid or liquid, for that matter, it expands, okay? So... We're having this global warming that is making the seas to expand, but also the ice caps, these huge continental ice shelves were also melting. But they, they underestimated the prediction. And right now with the latest data that they're getting, they're beginning to panic so much so that the, <laughs> the Secretary General of the United Nations said very recently, he said, mankind is waging war against nature. Mm. And this is suicidal because nature always fights back and she's doing so with fury and vigor. So they're beginning to panic because we have not been able to reduce the global warming. We said we would. We agreed, oh yes, we're going to stop all the pollution because we're putting hundreds and hundreds of millions of tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, particularly carbon dioxide. And in 2015, all the nations of the world, they got together in Paris and they agreed that yes, we're going to stop polluting the atmosphere. We're going to reduce our carbon Mr. footprint. Desmond, Mr. Desmond, Mr. Desmond, Mr. Sorry to yeah. cut in. Sorry to cut in because we are pressed for time. Uh, let me take you up on that. We're going to stop polluting the atmosphere. We're going to stop polluting the environment. We're going to take better care of the environment. How well can Nigeria do this? I mean, we know we know our nation. We know our habits. We know our culture. We know we know how we know our dispositions generally. We know how we go about the environment. What can we do better? <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's just a massive question, but it's like um, you know, if, if if you're all caught up in your your studio there, you know, and the doors are locked and the studio catches fire, hmm. you won't be spending too much time just debating, debating. You're going to break down the door. You're going to put out that fire, and that's what's happening with the environment. I see. The reality is very very harsh. Just look at what happened in in Lagos today. We hmm. just got totally inundated. Look what's going on in Canada. Look what's going on in, uh, in Germany. The unprecedented rainfall. You know, we've got to come together, you see, and we've got to realize that the environment is our life support system. Number Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Number two. Number two. And this is very serious, and this is what gives me hope for Nigerians. Number two. Scripture is very clear. The Holy Quran says we are caliphs, which is we are stewards, we are caretakers. The Holy Bible, which I'm far more familiar with, 
says that we were put here to care for the creation. The Holy Bible says that the creation is very good. So says the creator. So we better start really loving our creator and taking care of his very good creation, which happens to be our life support system. Mm. So it's something that we have to have in our minds. There has to be a renewal of our minds because we've gone too far into just pursuing our selfish needs. Our greed has been driving us far too hard for far too long. And not just us in Nigeria. It's a global issue. But mm. also, as Nigerians, we're part of the problem. But you know what the... You know what the silver lining on this dark cloud is? That we all need to come together to solve this problem. As I said, if we're, if we're locked up in a room and the room catches fire, are we going to be wondering, oh, what party do you belong to? Oh, what tribe are you? What ethnicity are you? What religion are you? No! <laughs> we'll all come together and solve the problem and put out the fire. And maybe this is how God is trying to tell us, hey, you know, you guys, I want you to be more human. I want you to come together. I want you to be far more caring. I want you to be far more loving. Because if we don't, if we don't, the consequences of those kind of floods would be terrible. Thank you. Thank terrible. you very much. God forbid. Thank you very much, Mr. Desmond uh, Majakodumi. Thank you very much for your submission. Thanks for joining us on the uh, news now tonight. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.